Help me, Mr. Beast. You're my only hope. Greetings and welcome back to another Peanut Butter Laced episode of the podcast. I'm your host, as always, Jason Oliver. With us today is the Peanut Butter Chocolate Chip Cookies by Feastables. I am super excited to have found these today because they were just announced maybe a week ago and they're already on the shelf, so I was super psyched. So far, everything we've had from Feastables has been pretty fantastic. We started with the chocolate chip cookies. Those came out a while ago, and oddly enough, I was able to find them on clearance like the week they came out. It was a strange occurrence. Check it out. And today we're going to try the peanut butter chocolate chip cookies by Feastables. I hope they're delicious. I hope they're as good as the old ones. The other ones were fantastic. You guys having a good week? It's almost the weekend. Is everybody working for the weekend? Everybody excited? You got some big plans? I don't have any big plans. Hmm. Not a lot of smell. But if they're anything like the last ones, they definitely had a lot of taste. I can tell you that much. There we go. Take a little look at them here. They look like your typical chocolate chip cookie. Nothing screams peanut butter about it immediately. Maybe do a little cross section here. Take a look at the chips. Nice looking chips. Let's give it a whirl. Down the hatch. I'm going to have to try the other half of this. It's not hitting me with any peanut butter, really. Not a strong amount of peanut butter. I'll give you another shot. And for those of you that did not know, these are plant-based. They're gluten-free, GMO-free. Some of the healthiest cookies you can get on the market, most likely. What do they got for sugar? A little light brown sugar. I love a little light brown sugar or dark brown sugar. I like both of them. Hmm. This is tough for me to do, but this is, I'd give this a six. It's not great. Their peanut butter cookies, I mean, their chocolate chip cookies were fantastic. I had no problem. I loved them. I thought they were great. I actually still have a bag. Saving them for a rainy day. I'm just not getting the peanut butter flavor here. I don't know what it is. It's just, it's not prominent. Either way, though, they're not bad for what they are. The chocolate chips are fantastic for being plant-based. I'd have to say this is the first product by Feastables that hasn't really grabbed me. There's nothing really super unique about it. There's not enough peanut butter in there to really even call it a peanut butter chocolate chip cookie, in my honest, humble opinion. Um, you might think differently, though. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not living up to the standards of Feastable. If you guys want to go back, you can check out. I did all the Mr. Beast chocolate bars. I did a Beast Off with the exception of one. And I happened to find that today when I was out looking for multiple other things to review on the channel. So Monday or Tuesday, we'll be doing this. Sunday, I hope you guys are as excited to watch this one as I was to make it because uh, you can expect how this goes. So that's coming out Sunday. And uh, we'll have a whole new week next week. But um, Feastables, keep it coming because whatever you're doing, most of the stuff is super fantastic. Carl Gummies, God damn. I hope you guys really enjoy this episode of the podcast. And if you guys are loving watching the content I'm creating as much as I love creating the content you guys are watching, then you should consider liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. Especially subscribe. If you know one other person that could subscribe, we'd be so much closer to a 1,000. I really need your help, guys. That's the one thing I'm asking you. Subs, subs, subs. Ooh, I could go for a meatball sub. Then hit the little bell icon because it'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today. Tomorrow? Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. Let's sing and dance in the sun and in the rain as one, my brothers and sisters. Live life to the fullest and love every moment of it because you just never know when that last moment's going to come for you. However, never live in fear of that moment. Always live in love and never let your inner child die. Take care of yourselves, take care of one another, and take care of those around you who can't take care of themselves, for they're the ones that need it the most. And if no one has told you today that they love you, the vodcast loves you very much, just the way you are. All right, guys, you take care. I'll see you guys a little bit further on down the road. Later on. Don't go to sleep with a catch it in your pocket. <laughs>